Hello, I'm Kurt, and this is Simple Shop Creations. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create lined paper using Labrie Office product. Now, if you want to skip this tutorial, go down to the description below and look for the chapter titled Start Tutorial and click. Now, as I stated in my previous video making dot grid paper, if you viewed that, um, I primarily do woodworking projects. However, I do like to make other things, and one of the things I do like to make is notebooks. And in this case here, sometimes I like to make lined notebooks, and that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a lined document using Libri Office product. So the first step is we want to switch over to draw, Libri Office draw. As you see here, I have writer up just to show you lined paper that I did create and writer, but I'm, we're going to use draw. So let's go ahead and open up a LibreOffice draw document. Now, if you don't have LibreOffice, again, go down to the description, look for the link to download LibreOffice and go ahead and install it. I am using a Windows PC, so therefore all my commands and key clicks will be based on the Windows PC. With that out of the way, let's continue. So once you have your Libri Office drawer open, we need to get rid of these margins. And how do we do that? We're just going to go ahead and click in the middle of the document, right mouse click, and then let's select Page Properties. Now I defaulted to Letter here. I'm going to change it to A4, and I'll explain why I'm changing it to A4. I'm going to show you two ways to create lines on this particular video. So I'm going to go ahead and select let, um, a4 and now I'm going to remove my margins to zero I'm going to hit tab okay so I'm hitting zero tab zero tab zero tab so I get all the way down there and now I'm going to select OK and you get a pop-up box that basically says margin settings are out of print range do you want to keep it and select yes now you can see the margins are gone now why did that pop-up box pop up it's because some printers cannot print uh, a zero margin or zero border, whatever you want to call it. They can't print from end to end. The only way you can tell that or what's the way you can tell on your printer, basically you look at the specs or follow along and then print it out and see what happens to your printer. See if it prints it skewy or it gives you an error, it gives you an error or you can't print it. Just start, go back to that page properties and bring your margins in a little bit until it starts to print. Now I'm using A4. So there's one other thing I got to do here is I need to change this into to metric sizing here. And I'm going to show you how to change this over to metric. So let's go ahead up to the tools menu, select options. We want to be underneath the Libri Office Draw. So some, if it's like this or looks like this or something like that, just look for Libri Office Draw. Click the plus button, select general, and here you can see unit of measurement is inch. We're going to go ahead and change that to, I'm going to change it to millimeters. And then I'm going to hit apply and OK. And now when we go back to the document and we, and we um, right mouse click, we see we're in two millimeters. I selected A4 because I like, again, I like to journal, I like to jot stuff down. And an A4, one A4 sheet makes two A5 sheets, which makes a nice journal book, which is a popular size, A5. It's probably one of the most or the most popular journal or diary book that uh, book size you can get or paper size you can get. In this case, we're going to have to make our, um, our lines go across like in columns to create a A5, take an A4 sheet and fold it in half, and then you'll have two five sheets in a journal. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how that's done. So the first step is we're going to go ahead and select insert line. We're going to click it, and then when you come over, you see you have a plus and diagonal line. We're going to go up to the top left here and click left mouse button and drag it down. Now you can hit your shift key and it should bring it right along the same axis and then release it. Make sure you have the square dot, the square dot. Now if you click off it accidentally, just bring it over, your mouse over and until you see the four arrows, then click and now you know you're on the line. The next step here is to duplicate, duplicate lines going across the paper from left to right in columns. So to do that, we go up to shape and we select duplicate. Now here we show the number of copies. That's how many lines are going to be spewed out across the screen here, in this case 35. Next we want to go across the x-axis and you can see here I have a size 8 millimeter. So wide rule 
is approximately seven to eight millimeters. Standard rule, college rule, is probably around five to six millimeters or uh, an inch would be quarter of an inch, I believe for uh, standard rule or college rule. And for uh, wide rule, five sixteenths of an inch will give you uh, wide rule uh, lines. So in my case, I'm gonna stick with eight millimeters and it will give me a good wide rule so I can uh, write in there very easy. Go ahead and do this. So notice I did it on the X axis, not on the Y axis. You do it on the Y axis, you're gonna do rows going down. So I have 35. I'm going to do 35 copies going from left to right at spacing of 8 millimeters in between the lines. Over here you can change the color and change the line thickness if you choose to. So let's hit OK and you see we have well over the amount of lines. So we're just going to go ahead and delete these lines off. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight them all and so I'm assuming you need about maybe 29. Now if you want to, you can delete this one here to give you a bigger heading if you want to. Which I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. This gives me a nice size heading so I can write a title on there if I choose to. So now you can see you have lines going across. And so when you fold this in half, you'll have lines going in the proper direction. Now if you want to change this to where you have the lines going horizontally across and going down, you just go to shape, go to duplicate, and then you swap the X axis with the Y axis. So you put eight millimeters down here on the Y axis and you put this to zero. And then the number of lines that you want. But just make sure when you do your line, you click the line insert and you go up top here and you do it this way. And then you go ahead and do it. So let's hit escape and hit control Z and we got rid of that we have one page done. So if you have a printer that only can print on one side, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and print this out. And once, it, it's the, once the printing is done, you're gonna take the sheet, put it back into your tray with the lines going up, and then it should print the blank side with lines. That's the way most printers should work. Now if you have a two-sided printer like I do, I'm gonna go ahead and right mouse click on here. I'm gonna hit copy, and then I'm gonna hit paste or in my case I should have hit paste so let me delete this page let's go ahead and copy right mouse click and paste and now I should have two pages so when I print this out it will print both of these pages but notice here you only see one page here that's fine it'll print out or at least when I print it out on two sided it'll print out so if you want to change the colors of the lines just go ahead and right mouse click I mean click somewhere in the document hit control A you can see it highlighted them all you can change the the thin, you can make the lines thinner. You can change the color to whatever you want. And now it's only doing it to one. You're gonna have to do the same thing to the other one. So in our case, again, some people like the blue for the line. Uh, here's a nice little light blue. Uh, you can go back to your gray, uh, light three gray here. And then you're done. Then go ahead, go to the other page. You click in the document somewhere, hit Control A, and then it will select that whole item two and then go match the um, points that you did and then the color uh, that you did and now you can go ahead and print both of these out make sure you select two sided printing if you have a printer similar to mine I can print on both sides after that is done you can go ahead and save it so we go up to file save as then you see here I already save some stuff name it keep it an ODF and uh, you'll be good to go Again, I'll, I'll name it um, A4 Paper Wide Rule. So there you have it. Don't forget to go down into the description below as there are some affiliate links of the products that I use. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. There'll be another video coming out on how to create uh, graph paper. And then, of course, we'll come out with a video on how to create notebooks various ways to create notebooks and also we will stay with the wood projects and we'll probably start to throw in some other things like some 3d printing stuff some more laser engraving and other type of um, maker stuff that i like to do so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you have a healthy and wonderful day until the next video